goodness, the wedding is only two days away. And oh my gosh, from the minute I arrived in London for the royal wedding of Benji and Princess Passion, it has been total chaos and endless shenanigans. I am doing my very best to try to bring reason and sensibility to the festivities, keep everyone in line and protected legally, but between the paparazzi photos popping up in the tabloids, the invasion of the 250 squirrels at the Squirrel Hotel, nighttime poker games, the girls gone wild in Paris shopping and partying like there's no tomorrow, a variety of poodles disappearing, such as my very good friend Coco Chanel on a mad shopping spree with her mom's credit card, and finally, the big pub brawl resulting in the groom, Benji, ending up with a big black eye. My strong paw has gone a bit limp from overuse. I can tell you that no one has been arrested or thrown in the slammer from the wedding party, but there's been a lot of chin wagging, that means chatter or talk in British English, about how in the world Benji ended up with that shiner, and I have been asked to address this. I would love to give you all the juicy details and gossip about what happened, but Sorry to disappoint you, but because of attorney-client privilege, I can't give you any specific details. But I can tell you that a bloody bloke, that means a huge fellow, with pointy ears has been blamed for the injury. Last I knew, that dog was escorted out of the pub by the bobby, that's the British police officers, to a patrol car. Benji then underwent medical treatment and should be fine for the ceremony. Now, the big concern today is just yesterday a rumor surfaced that Benji has a secret love child that's going to show up at the wedding. My legal advice to Benji is to say nothing until the DNA test comes back. But this could make tonight's interview on the animal planet very interesting. And of even more concern is will Benji and Passion even show up for the postponed Royal Animal Planet Network interview? I've been charged with making sure Benji is there. He's about 10 times bigger than me and his paws have been a bit chilly lately, but I promise I'll get him there kicking and barking if I have to. I'll check back with you tomorrow for an analysis of this interview. This could get very interesting. The world is holding its breath. Talk to you later. Bye, everybody.